Hi, I'm Sherry. Welcome to Macro Magic. Today I'm going to make a really nice sweet drink called Ame Kuzu. Now, Ame Kuzu is a very easy to make drink. It's a great drink to have when you come home uh, really tired from work and you just want to relax and you, you have a sweet craving. We're going to use um, two ingredients plus spring water today. We have um, a white looking substance that looks like cornstarch. This is called kuzu and this is made from the kudzu plant that grows wild in uh, the southern United States and you've probably seen it. It sort of takes up your yard and um, grows wild and what they do is harvest the root and pulverize it and make it into a thickening agent. And this thickening agent helps heal the uh, large intestine. So if you're suffering from colitis, uh, diverticulitis, any sort of digestion problem, colon cancer, this is a very healing food for the colon. And what it does is it just builds strength. The roots of the kozu plant grow through rocks. And it's very strengthening to the digestive tract. So separate from cornstarch, which is a little bit more um, acidifying to the digestive tract, kudzu or kuzu is very strengthening. So we use a cup of water, we just pour it into a saucepan, and then we take a teaspoon of kuzu. Now you can also make some puddings and gravies out of this, but it always has to be dissolved in cold water first. You can't put it in hot water otherwise it will lump up and, and not really thicken. And as you can see, when you stir it, it gets very cloudy. That cloudiness will go away once you heat it. So we're going to put this on the stove first and heat it and keep stirring so it stays um, thickened and not lumpy. And then we're going to add a sweetener. Now you can add either barley malt or rice syrup. Those are the two grain sweeteners we use in macrobiotic cooking. Barley malt is made from cooked down barley and rice, brown rice syrup is made from cooked down brown rice. And both sweeteners don't promote tooth decay. They're very mild so they don't jack up your blood sugar level and then let it drop. And they're, so they're, they're nice sweeteners to use on a pretty regular basis. And you can use them in desserts to make pies and cookies and cakes with. Um, you just have to adjust the liquid amount in the recipe if you use them. So we're going to heat up the kuzu in the water on the stove. Now it, takes a, it takes a little bit of time for the kuzu to dissolve and thicken. You'll see it turns very cloudy and then it starts to get thick. Now we can also make a medicinal drink out of this. If we add a, a couple drops of shoyu soy sauce and a little pinch of umeboshi plum and that sort of acts like an aspirin. So if you have the cold or flu, you can um, mix those two ingredients in the kuzu and it will actually help the cold and the flu symptoms go away. So once it's clear, we then add a tablespoon of the sweetener. Like I said, you can use rice, brown rice syrup or barley malt for this recipe. So you use about a tablespoon of the sweetener. Now if you were making a pudding, you could add some of your favorite fruit. You could add lemon, you could add apple juice. Um, any kind of fruit juice will work except for grape juice. Grape juice won't work because there's certain enzymes in grape juice and it prevents it from getting thick. But any of the natural fruit juices work. You could make a coffee pudding or a mocha pudding. Um, I have a delicious mocha pudding recipe in my cookbook, Macro Magic for Kids and Parents, that uses kuzu. And then once it turns clear, I'm going to take it off the stove. And just pour it in your favorite mug. And this is a wonderful drink to have in the evenings. 
like I said, when you come home from work and you're really stressed and you have sweet cravings and you want to prevent yourself from raiding the refrigerator, this is a much better drink, much healthier, and very soothing. So thanks for joining me. See you next time. Don't forget to visit us at www.teawithsherry.com.